Did you have a favorite piece that you conducted while you were in college or did you have a favorite group that you conducted? Um, that's an interesting question. I think my, the most fun I've had is actually when I was conducting the opera. And this is, I think my, when I was trying to, uh, my first year of DMA, um, it was the uh, Hansel and Gretel. I just love being in the pit because I just still remember that uh, I'm not the focus of the performance, but I'm in between two worlds, the orchestra and the stage. And that's like my, my biggest, I think my biggest accomplishment at CCM at that time. You mentioned your DMA. Did you go right into your doctorate when you finished your master's or was there space in between? No, I went straight, uh, but like I think everybody knows I didn't finish it. Uh, so <laughs> Now, looking back um, at your time there at school, is there anything that you wish that you had studied or had the opportunity to do um, now that you're in the real world and executing your degree? This is a very important question, I think. And um, the one thing that I feel like, and this is, I think this is true with... Uh, all the major conservatories in the U.S. There's not enough relationship or uh, to, clo- to close the gap between study and professionals. Most major orchestras see me as students instead of the perspective young conductor or perspective young musicians. So maybe like a co-op type position as you're transitioning from a student to the real world. Right. Where has your your conducting taken you besides uh, France and the UK and the United States? Currently, um, still France and the UK because of the uh, La Maestra competition in, in, in France. But uh, I have some, and I, I can't say where because it's not like completely 100% yet. But I do have some gigs lined up in um, Asia outside of Indonesia, Asia, and in Germany, oh. and in Scandinavia. So we'll see how, you know, once it's a done deal, then I can put it on my website. But as of now, it's still in discussion because of the dates. Um, you know. No matter what art, you know, what kind of artist you are right now, it's everything is so up in the air. So I, I feel you. I feel you there. 